What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I want to go over a new feature introduced in the new GoPro Studio 2.5 update called Flux. Flux is a slow motion feature similar to Twixter. It's really simple to use and it'll help you get some really sweet slow motion shots. I recommend using the highest frame rate possible on your GoPro when using this feature. The first thing to do is to import your shots. I have four here and all of them were shot at 1080p at 120 frames per second. Next you need to drag over the clip to the right and convert it to either an AVI or an MOV file. Converting takes a few seconds to complete depending on your system. Once that's done, we're going to continue on to step two. Next, we're going to drag that clip down to the timeline down below. The next step is to remove any unwanted footage from the clip. It's better to keep it as short as possible. What you want to do now is to choose a section from the clip that you would like to use the flux feature on. Using the razor tool is the easiest way to do this. Simply slice the section you want to be in slow motion. I want the clip to play back at normal speed, then it'll switch over to slow-mo, and then back to normal speed. So I want the clip to start here. I'll use the razor tool to cut the beginning section off. I'll then select a clip to the left and hit the delete key to remove it. Now I'm going to go through and see which section of the clip I want to be in super slow motion. Once I find the right place, I'm going to razor tool it. About right here is where I want the slow motion to start, so I'll hit the razor function. I'll then continue on and find the part where I want the slow motion to end, and then hit the razor function again. Now we have three different clips on the timeline. Once you get that all sorted out, select the section that will be in slow-mo, and over at the top right you'll see the speed section under video controls. I believe GoPro recommends using anywhere from 5 to 8% playback speed, but I'm not too sure exactly. You really just need to play around with the speeds to get it just about right. Dropping the percentage too slow could make your footage look really bad. After you drop it to a lower percentage, also make sure that Flux is enabled. Flux is only available in GoPro Studio 2.5. Now that we have slow-mo enabled on the clip, you can play it back, but it won't play back with the Flux feature. It'll just play back at 5% and it can look a bit choppy. To see the finished product, you need to export the footage. During the exporting stage, Flux analyzes the footage and applies the effect. Now it's time to export the footage. I like to choose Custom, H.264, 22 megabits per second is fine, and make sure that Flux is enabled. Choose your location to export the footage. The exporting stage can take a really long time, so I went and grabbed a coffee in the meantime. This pumpkin export took about 30 minutes to complete. Now let's check it out and see how it looks. We can see that it looks really smooth and not choppy at all. When using Flux, you may see some weird distortions. GoPro recommends to have a clean background behind the subject you're filming. This will prevent some of those distortions. And now here's what it looks like without Flux enabled. The slow-mo doesn't look smooth at all, it's kind of jumpy. If you pay attention to the piece of pumpkin, you could see it move in a stuttering way. Alright, so that's going to conclude this quick tutorial on the new GoPro Studio Flux feature. I really hope you found it helpful, and if you did, leave me a like. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. I have a bunch of GoPro tutorials and tips on my channel, so check them out. See you in my next video.